Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm gonna be dyeing my hair. So if you'd like to see how I got my final look, I would suggest that you skip to 453. It's a very affordable hair dye, great product. It does not take that long to do. It's a great way to get a brand new look real quick. I wanted to spice it up, you know, already. You already know that I cannot just leave my hair alone. This is by Joico. It's semi-permanent pink. And you do not need developer to use this. If you pre-lighten your hair prior to using this dye, it will, of course, pop more. Because when I did it, I had bleach, so it was more vibrant. So if your hair is lighter, it's going to be more intense. You do not have to bleach your hair unless you have jet black hair. Just because I've used this before. My hair was bleached back then when I tried it. I had like two peekaboos. It looked really nice and bold and vibrant. I want to see how it looks on my natural hair color. This is how my natural hair color looks like. It's trying to make me look yellow. Thanks, light. And I recommend trying this before bleaching um, and see how it looks. So yeah, I am excited to see how it's gonna look. I really like the important parts for you really quick. No developer required. Apply to clean, dry hair from scalp. Process for 20 minutes for maximum vibrancy. Pre-lighting here prior to application, do a patch test. I know that I've tried this before, like I said, so I do not need to do that. I usually don't even do that. Not patient for all that. I just go and take the risk. But guys, do the patch test. Okay? You want to be safe. So. so I recommend having gloves handy, cotton rounds or cotton balls, and some coconut oil, of course, for you to clean up around your hairline so that the hair dye does not stain your skin or you could do that prior before you apply it. You know that my hair is this short, I do not have hair to hide my ears or my neck if it's there and showing. So you guys, I have to have extra caution now. Let's do this. If you're ready, because I also have, so because I have short hair, I'm just gonna go ahead and just put this on my palm of my hands. That's how it looks like. It's not permanent, it's not gonna be there for a long time. So if you have long hair, of course, you wanna use a brush and a bowl, and apply it. Okay guys? Apply this. I'm a bit to be So I don't have a mirror right here next to me. So I'm kind of relying on the camera right now to do this for you guys. Because I love changing things up, I know that I won't be having this for too long. I was thinking about like what if I do should do some my purple brows as well. No, don't get on the lineup. I'm inside for it. Don't get there. Okay, you guys. So I should have put a little, like a little bit of coconut oil on my side part and stuff. So you don't want. I don't want to hit. Um, I don't want a bad to get to it. You know. And now, I feel like I'm gonna have to go. I'm gonna have to go in front of a mirror to do this and then come back and show you guys. But well, you want to get all your tiny little hairs and go carefully. You know. You want to let it get on the skin like a little bit like around here for your hairs, your baby hairs and edges so that way it doesn't, that way you won't want to go and put some more after when you find out that it's looking, that it's showing too much of your natural color or your color that you had before. But always go to a professional guys if you don't feel comfortable doing this, go to a professional, ask somebody to help you or just look at a lot learn really good before doing it yourself so you don't end up being disappointed with your results making sure i cover my whole scalp and my beautiful little tiny hairs by the way guys don't mind my lashes on this video i know one of them is coming off and i'm not really good at placing lashes but i'm still filling my lashes anyways okay So yeah, I got some pink over there, we'll clean it up after, but you know. Okay you guys, so that was an epic fail. The color, you can't see it. Nope. The color is not showing. It's like mostly on my scalp. I don't even know if the cam camera is showing it. Mostly still brown. I would have to lighten my hair for that color to take really good. Okay, so on to the next color, right? The Garnier Color Styler. I've tried this brand before. I 
have the video tutorials here on my channel that check them out on how I use them. I still have red temptation left and pink pop right here. I've also used the blue one. There are intense washout covers. They're really good. Hopefully there's enough in here. Should be fine. Nice. This brand is very watery, liquidy, so when applying it, be careful or it can get messy. When I applied it last time, it actually looked more like more like a purple. It looked purple instead of pink. So hopefully, I don't care if it looks purple at this point. I just want a hair color on without having to bleach. Because I am definitely, guys, planning on bleaching my hair. You'll see me here really soon on the channel, bleaching. This is the final look. I am happy with the outcome, how it looks nice and bright, purplish and pinkish, and I'll be keeping you guys updated on how long it lasted, how I liked it on another video. And now that I set up with the blow dryer, it feels like harsh, it feels like hard a little bit, but that's okay, I just don't want it to stain anything. Remember to sleep with a bonnet or a scarf so that way you don't stain your sheets or your pillow. This temporary look is perfect for the month of February, my baby girl's birthday month, her favorite color, Valentine's Day and spring is just right around the corner. Let me know how you guys like this new look. Thanks so much for watching. Mwah.